Hey friends, it's Rob at Bison. I'm here at the Bison HQ in Wichita, Kansas to talk to you about how to properly attach the gloves to your hands when you ride your motorcycle. I know that sounds funny. I mean, you should just put the gloves on and kind of Velcro them a little bit, get on the bike and go, right? Well, lately there've been a lot of crashes, uh, especially at the pro ranks, which are broadcast, of course. You see gloves flying off of people and I'm getting tagged in comments and DMs saying, Rob, make sure you get this guy some Bison gloves so next time they don't come off of his hands because I know you have good gloves. And we do, we have great gloves, but listen, they aren't impervious to flying off of your hands because most of the time it's either improper fit or it's user error. Most of the time it's user error. So I'm gonna show you a couple of key points about how to attach a glove to your hand and then I'm gonna give you a hack at the end that works with most gloves and uh, you can use them with yours even if they aren't bison. So the first thing I wanna talk about is fit. You need to make sure that the base of your palm and the base of your thumb are completely inside the body of the glove, they're not down in the throat or the wrist of the glove, okay? So that's important with this Thor 2 medium-sized glove. You can see the base of my thumb, the base of my wrist, uh, are they're inside the glove, okay? Now, you have two straps here. You have the wrist strap and the cuff strap. Uh, most gloves these days do. Okay, you wanna make sure you tighten the wrist strap. Tighten it as far as you can where you still feel pretty good. It's not cutting off circulation. It's not digging into you, obviously, but make sure it's really nice and snug. And then leave the cuff loose. I see people doing the opposite. I see the wrist strap being left loose and the cuff being locked down. When the cuff is locked down and the wrist strap is loose, you can pull it off of your hand in most cases. The reason for that is the cuff strap is not made to keep the glove on your hand. A lot of people think the bigger strap is what's going to keep the glove on their hand. That's not true. Also, when you cinch the cuff strap down too hard, you're limiting all this mobility that could be happening in your wrist. When you lock this down, look, look at all that twist in the active wrist impact system on these Thor 2s. You can see all this area has to do the work. When this is loose, the whole glove moves freely. So leave the cuff strap loose, but really cinch down the wrist strap. Now, here is a key point. This is a hack I was telling you about. This works with most gloves, okay? So if you have to tighten your wrist strap, if you have small wrists and you have to tighten it so far that you run out of Velcro and it won't stick there, just pull the, the uh, wrist strap back to the cuff, attach it to that Velcro, and then put the cuff over the top. This works with all three of our Bison glove models. And what it does is it actually pulls the thumb area of the glove back and uh, really pulls the hand back to the cuff, doesn't limit any mobility, and it keeps the wrist very, very tight. And what that means then is I cannot pull this thing off of my hand easily, okay? But again, even if they're cinched down, gloves can come off in a crash. We're just gonna help you reduce that by properly attaching your gloves. So go to bisontrack.com, check out our gloves. Uh, as always, we want you to go fast and be safe. So hopefully this hack helps you go faster and stay safer.